if you if you look at sort of who people select to have sex with versus who people select to try and form long-term relationships with them. I mean, there are many men who would not choose to be with the woman that is most attractive to everybody because they don't have the confidence they could keep her. That's, that's right? a good point. Even if she's not a flirt and wouldn't, and wouldn't be looking, right? Even if she didn't have a wandering eye. Some men deliberately wouldn't want to be with the most beautiful. People oh. tend to match up pretty closely in terms of attractiveness. Pretty closely. Oh. Pretty closely. Not not always. It's yeah. not because the and pretty then ones there, are airheads. But no. you asked about income, and I want to make sure that, because I had David Buss on my podcast, and he's really the expert on this, so um, we're going to have to fact check this with him. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's true that resource potential is an important variable because people have to think about safety and childcare and a number of things. But, of course, but women work too, right? Women can work too, right? They can opt to work and make money. But more often than, more important than any other feature across all cultures is that the woman reports that she sought someone who is kind to them. Not necessarily kind to everybody, but, but kind, kind to them, to them mm. right? Kind to them. Okay, so even if you think of like extreme money, right? Extreme money, or you think of extreme bodies or extreme resources, right? That somebody has women in terms of who they tend to pair up with long-term, assuming heterosexual, mm -hmm. right? They're, they're heterosexual because here we're making a bunch of assumptions. But in that, in that mold, what is shown up over and over again in the data is that their top priority is that someone be kind to them. Mm. In other words, they're not interested in being with someone who's really wealthy, who treats them like garbage. Is that And also I think this gets lost because people think, oh, it's all about money. It's not all about money. Okay. It's about... It's about safety and kindness because you're talking about a long-term bond. Right. Now, the, then people say, well, what about this notion of gold diggers? And by the way, there are male and female gold diggers. There are, I mean, I had friends in college who, who, who would say things Ups. like they wanted to marry a really wealthy woman. I was like, really? That's in, I just heard this from a few people. I was like, wow, you're thinking about that as your primary concern? They're like, no, but it would be great. I would hear people say that. Mm -hmm. um, you, they're also the female to male version of that. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it's actually pretty rare, yeah. right? It's about safety and resources. And this also varies by culture, whether or not women tend to work or not work. But overall, again, I don't, you know, I don't mean to, you know, be a dead horse with this, but it's really that kindness towards them is critical, but not necessarily kindness to everyone.